Hi guys, I am back today with another super easy home maintenance project. Today I'm gonna to show you how to clean hair out of a sink drain. Start by removing everything out from under the sink. Put a towel down and use an empty container from your garage, not your kitchen, underneath the plumbing to collect any water that might fall in. Typically when you have a clog in your bathroom drain, it's either gonna be in that U-shaped pipe you see at the bottom, that's called a P-trap, or it's gonna be in the, um, the stopper, the drain stopper itself. So I'm gonna show you how to clean out those two areas in basically like five minutes, guys. This is gonna be surprisingly easy and you're gonna save yourself at least $150 to $225 on a plumber call out for this. You can wear gloves for this if you wanna protect your hands from all the goo and the gunk and the hair that is clogging up that drain. So you start by unscrewing the two slip nuts at the top of that P-trap pipe. So it unscrews just like a jar would unscrew. Unscrew those slowly. There might be water sitting in that P-trap or there should be water sitting in that P-trap. So just carefully remove it, hold on to it while you're unscrewing it, and then empty that water into the container below. Once you get those slip nuts disconnected, slowly remove that P-trap and tilt it over, like I said, into the bowl. I'll show you what is inside mine. I've got a little bit of a gray sludgy silt sitting on the bottom of that, but it isn't enough to block the water. So that tells me that my blockage is actually in the drain stopper, but I am gonna clean out this, you, or this pipe while I'm here. I'll show you how I clean that out in a minute, but first, just to be sure that the clog was up in the drain stopper, I took a piece of scrap wood from my garage and stuck it up into the pipe and just sort of moved it around to make sure I didn't feel anything. Once I knew for sure that that clog was in the drain stopper, I decided to disconnect the rod that connects to the drain stopper so that I could fully remove the drain stopper. Unscrew the small nut connecting that rod to the back of your piping, just like you would a jargon. It's just like the nuts that we did in the beginning. And then gently move that pivot rod out of the way. Remove it from the piping so that you can remove the drain stopper. After removing that pivot rod, I was able to just lift the drain stopper out of my sink. Then I got to work at removing all of the hair and the gunk that was clogging up that area at the top of the sink. So I'm using an old comb that I use for cleaning paint brushes, but they do make specialized little tools for removing the hair clogs in sinks that you could also use. But you don't have to buy anything extra. If you have like a little screwdriver or something that you can carefully use, go on and grab it. You don't need to buy something special for every single thing in your house. I even save all of our old toothbrushes and even the bottle brushes from when my kids were babies for cleaning projects like this. So the next thing I grabbed was an old bottle brush that I'm gonna end up throwing away after this one because it's just too gross to worry about cleaning up. So carefully clean out all of the gunk and the hair along the sides of that pipe. And once you think you've got it completely clean, you're ready to start putting things back together. But first, be sure to scrub that drain stopper clean too while you're here. You wanna get off all of that gunk and any hair that might be on there because it's gonna be just a good base for another clog to start if you don't remove it all. So give it a good clean now and it'll last longer. It'll stay clean longer that way. Grab some paper towels or some toilet paper to wipe up all of that black goo from the sink and on the drain stopper so you're not just rinsing it down the sink again. Okay, here is one last quick look at all of the nasty gunk that I got out of my pipes. That was completely slowing the drainage of my sink. Every time we washed our hands, the sink would start filling up with water and Drano did not work. So if you try Drano first, guys, just try one bottle. Don't keep buying bottle after bottle. If it doesn't work after the first time, then just do this, clean out the pipes. Okay, and now before I can put everything back together, I'm gonna take that P-trap that you see there, that U-shaped pipe, I'm gonna take it outside, put my hose in one side of it, and rinse it out in the yard. Again, I don't wanna just rinse that material into another one of the sinks in my house. It'll just settle in the P-trap in that sink too. And here is a quick look at what that pipe looks like after I rinsed it out with my hose. So I wouldn't eat out of it, but there isn't any residue in there that's gonna be clogging up that flow of water out of my sink. Now that everything is cleaned out, I am just going to reconnect the nuts that I disconnected earlier. So the two nuts that connect to either end of that P-trap. 
it's a little bit awkward to line it up with um, the camera right behind me. I'm trying not to get my shoulder in the way, but it is actually easier than it looks. <laughs> so make sure you tighten those nuts completely so that you don't have any issues with water leaking out of those connections. And then you still have to connect the nut on the back that connects to the rod. For that part, you might need to fool around with the drain a little bit. Sometimes it's easier for two people to do this. So one person can be looking down from the top of the sink and one person's on the back trying to get the rod to go into that hole on the bottom of the drain again. But that shouldn't take too long. So once I had all three of my nuts completely tightened and connected again, I like to wipe down the pipes completely so I can test to see if I have any leaks. So I make sure I wipe off any water that might be on there from when I was doing my work. Then I poured a huge container full of warm water into the sink. So that warm water helps flush out any of that icky residue that was left behind to help, help clean the pipes out. But also all of that water is gonna be able to test those connections for me really well. And then after running all of that water through, I go back down under the sink with my dry paper towel and test all three of those connections again to see if I have even a little bit of water. So then for a few hours after that, I'll leave that dry paper towel under the plumbing while I'm using the sink and just make sure that nothing happens before I load up the cabinet again. That's it for how to clean hair out of a sink drain, guys. I hope that helped you save lots of money and feel more independent as a homeowner. Good luck.